five pieces. And then the one piece right on every continent. Now, the rock itself kind of looked like volcanic rock, all porous and stuff like that. Now, people picked it up, took it home, whatever, and started fiddling with it. And, but then all of a sudden, they started noticing these scabs. They started getting really itchy, and they started really putting these scabs all over their body. But then suddenly, one day, there was this lump started growing on this person. Mm -hmm. Looked something like, uh, looked something like that. Oh, shit. And, um, and it just, but it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it popped. And then out come oozing all these little maggots and these ants and these little, they almost- They were bull. So there's these gym kahanas and they almost look like- um, the Pick they, it out, bro, pick it out, bro. What they're called is gym kahana. They almost look like a cross between an ant. Oh. Well, actually, I've already picked that one. Here, I'll see what I can get you here. So they almost look like a cross between an ant and a praying mantis. Uh. Now the only way, you, they, you don't want to let them get back inside of you because the more they get back inside, you got to pop them out because the more they get back inside of you, the closer you are to bugging out. Dude. Now when you bug out, it basically means that the males and the females and everybody and the worker ants, oh look at the little black, because they start all these little black seeds like mm -hmm. that and then eventually they get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So there's bugs in the sores, eh? Yeah. And that's what these things are. We brought them back from the Middle East with us. Apparently, no, 52nd, we were 52nd, or 52nd Battalion, 252 Unit Jim Kahana. We were amateur number seven. Yeah. Um, for the King's Battalion Regiment. And now only the rich kids, the uh, favorite, ended up getting their the booster shots that were supposed to protect them. Sort of now, if anybody remembers, years ago there was a temple in the middle of Calgary, Big Stone Temple. And it had a weird temple, like had a bunch of like pillars and stuff, and a uh, big stone tablet in the middle of it. Oh. And well, after they tore it down, I guess some high school kid went ahead and translated it, and it basically loosely translated to, don't fuck with this place or you unleash you upon the earth. That's because right under Calgary, Oh, there's a great, whoa, there's a great, oh, great fucking buck nest. Oh. Now, I'm not going to take off my pants and show you, but I have a sword about this big. Um, the last time I went for an MRI. Oh, I can see it under your pants. Now, if you take a, now at night, if you take a flashlight and you hold it underneath your arm, you can see the worker ants. You can see these are the ones that just eat the poop and eat the poop and eat the poop. Now, the brood mothers, they're smaller, but they have big egg sacs connected to them. Mm -hmm. And then all they do is just walk along with eggs and they lay about a hundred per centimeter. One out of every thousand is going to be a male. And now the males are the ones that are feeding the gestate and they grow and they grow and they grow. And they end up coming out eight-legged ants with like these forward facing claws like praying mantises. Mm -hmm. And now at that early gestation, at full adulthood, they stand, you now we saw these motherfuckers. We clocked one, just driving along beside it in a truck. It emerged from underground come to have a look at us and he took off fucking running so we decided to chase him mm -hmm. we clocked him doing about 125 fucking mile an hour flat land mm -hmm. but now the reason they called him Jim Kahana if you are familiar with um theology or yeah, yeah bro I bro I can't watch this anymore this looks like a Stephen King movie dude so I can't but no no hear me out hear me dude hear this me is out. crazy bro the this is crazy bro hear me out the reason they called Jim Kahana is because the archangel but that's what I'm saying but do you see what's coming out now Dude, look, look. Now watch this. Now let, me, oh. let, me, let me take the fresh scab look off. Look at the bump. Now, oh. look, now let, me see if, let me find a fresh scab. Oh, man. And I'll, I'll peel it off this, and I'll show you what's underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, this dude. This is horrible because this is what comes out. Oh, yeah, dude. No, dude. Because So basically, what ends up happening um, when the male comes out, oh, it breaks out of your chest. And then all the other ones start coming out, and they keep you alive for as long as possible, and you are now buffy. Uh Where was I going with this? The reason they call him Jim Kahana is because, according to lore and theology, Jim Kahana, the Archangel, mm -hmm. they actually set themselves on fire, and they basically, like, they are a total, like, they're a complete zealot. Mm -hmm. They see hurting themselves as, like, frustrating, mm -hmm. as a way of pleasing the Lord. So they will set themselves on fire, 
and they will actually slip the wrist. Mm -hmm. The more blood they lost, the more damage they take. Okay, yeah, I think you've explained enough. The more damage they do. It's all and right, it's man. The same with Jim Conn, underground, they're pinkish white. Yeah. As soon as they get topside, yeah. the longer they're in the sun, they turn red and redder and redder, and they get angrier and angrier and angrier. All right, and man.